What's up guys, Chris schwartz Edmiston here from schwartz Edmiston Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about targeting specific sections in Squarespace 7.1. So I'm here in a Squarespace 7.0 site, and in Squarespace 7.0, we could target a single section by targeting its section ID. So if I right click on a section and click inspect, we can see that each of the pages in an index get their own section tag with a unique ID. So for example, if I wanted to target the H2, but only in this one section, I would use this sections ID and then I could give the H2 any property that I wanted. So we'll change the color pink, for example. And you can see that it's only affecting the H2 in this one section. It's not affecting any of the other H2s on the page. So in 7.1, if we right click on a section that we want to change and click inspect, we'll be able to see that we no longer have a section ID. So we need a different unique identifier to limit the scope of our CSS to a single section. And in 7.1, we can use the data section ID. So you can see every section on a page gets a unique data section ID. So this one down here, for example, has a data section ID that ends in 23B8. This one up here ends in 23B6. So these are data attributes and the way that you target a data attribute with CSS is to surround it in brackets. So to copy this data section ID, I'm gonna click on it, double click. Then I'm on PC, so I hit Control A to select everything and then Control C to copy. In my custom CSS window, I'll open up some brackets. I'll paste in my data section ID and open up some curly brackets. So now, for example, if I want to change the paragraph text, but only in this section to black, uh, I can target my P tag, open up some curly brackets, and I'll change the color to hashtag 000, add an important tag so my style gets rendered over Squarespace's internal styles, and we now have the paragraph text black, but only in this one section. So paragraph tags and other sections are not affected. So we no longer have section IDs in Squarespace 7.1, but we can use the data section IDs wrapped in brackets to limit the scope of your CSS to a single section. Now, you might be thinking, Chris, you probably only used these example websites because they had your awesome angled section plugin on them. And if you weren't thinking that, now you are thinking that and you're correct. So I have these cool angled section uh, designs on both of these websites. The angled section works in, I have code for 7.0 as well as 7.1. On 7.0, you can see it works with parallax turned on. So it creates a really unique design. It'll help your website stand out from the other templates. So if you are interested in purchasing that plugin, it is now on my shop. The link is in the description below. All right, that's enough of that. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you could please take a moment to go ahead and hit subscribe if you found this video valuable. Thank you very much. Have a good week or weekend, depending on when you're watching this. I'll see you in the next one.